buckle fat. It's a very hot topic, especially on Instagram and social media. Should you re remove it? Who should have it removed? And why is that so important? Well, let me tell you some facts. Buckle fat is, is one of the most important fat compartments in the face because it is the only one that has both superficial and deep components. So as we all know, having fat in our face actually makes it look youthful. And so any removal has to be done very, very discreetly. So buckle fat, even though it's seen a lot on Instagram and a lot of people do it in the office and they're local, it should only be done in carefully selected patients. And what do I mean by that? I mean that those patients that have fat primarily in this area, in front of their masseter, on the jawline, not here, if it's full and robust, and many times it's genetic, then you should discreetly and can discreetly remove it, either in the operating room or under the local. It's done intraorally. But if the patient selection is not great, you can make somebody look older. I recently saw a famous Hollywood actor who had buckle fat removed over three years ago, and he looks 10 years older. And the challenge there is it's hard to replace buckle fat. You just can't add fat because it's, it's fat that glides between the upper, the deeper, and the superficial fat compartments. There's actually four components to the buccal fat, okay? Some of it's in the temporal area, some of it's in the mid face, and then only a small part is in the buccal area, and that's the only one that needs to be removed. So, it's important to understand that. So, choose wisely. So, carefully selected patients, those with congenitally full faces, and one day clinch down and put their tongue to the top of their mouth. And if they have fullness in this area in the front of their face, they're good candidates. You know, people that aren't good candidates are people like um, Johnny Depp. I don't think he's had buccal fat removal, but you can see if he'd had, you know, he already has a lot of hypoplasia or loss of fat in his lower face. And you can see that when he was younger. That looked good because it sculpted his face, but today it makes him look gaunt and older. So removing buccal fat in, inappropriately or in not in the correct patient makes you look a lot older. So assess your patient, find a plastic surgeon that understands the science of aging and understands that fat is, is an essential part of looking youthful and unnecessary removal can actually make you look older. So. Those are some words of wisdom from a board certified plastic surgeon. So just because it looks good on Instagram doesn't mean that it's good for you. Okay, so in summary, buckle fat is an important part of our face and how we look and animate. It is also based upon your anatomy and your genetics. If you have a full face, lower face, right just beside the mouth, you may be a candidate for removal of this. And if so, do it discreetly, don't take out too much. Because remember, as we age, we all lose fat in our face. It's the one place where we don't wanna lose fat, okay, is in our face, because it makes us look older. And know before you go. Find a board certified plastic surgeon that does this a lot, that understands the science of aging, that is a facial aging expert, and you will have potentially an amazing result if you follow these guidelines. Hope you enjoyed this. As you know, my goal is to help you become a better you. Have a great day.